Welcome NC Youth Academy coaches. I'm going to provide a brief overview of the play, practice, play, lesson plan methodology and how to implement this, this with your players to align with the new coaching education and coaching license pathway. Hopefully you've seen these communications that we've shared out from U.S. Soccer regarding the new licensing pathway. For the Youth Academy purposes, we're going to focus on the grassroots pathway. The grassroots pathway centers on the 4v4, 7v7, 9v9, and 11v11 game models. The first thing you want to do is go to the Digital Coaching Center and open up a profile. This is free to anyone who doesn't already have one, and you can do this at dcc.ussoccer.com. From there, you want to head to the Grassroots Courses. You, would you need to then enroll in the free introductory course. It's a short course ranging about 20 minutes and it's the first step on your path towards pursuing grassroots coaching education. When we look at the major theme of the grassroots coaching education it's going to be the play practice play model. We're going to initiate the training session with a small sided game and just let them play with less emphasis on skills or exercises and more emphasis on game-related context and decision-making. The practice portion, or the core activity, will be used to provide them with decision-making opportunities in a small-sided games approach related to our overall topic. Coaches can use a less challenging or more challenging activity as needed based on the needs of their player set forth by the training session plan. And to end, we'll use play again for players to showcase their comprehension of the practice in the training, as well as coaches can now reflect on their performance and the player's ability to comprehend the topics from the training session. A sample training session is going to be comprised of two separate sides or two pieces of paper. Each training session has three sections, the play, the practice, and the play again. Play one. This is where we will set up as many fields as possible based on the space available, the numbers of players, and our program, avail our program allows. We want to have small sided games to begin. Greet the players as they arrive at the training session. Play 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, so on and so forth as the players arrive. Encourage players to start a new game when numbers grow too high. Your topic and goal for the day should be reflected in the keywords that you use during the training session. The guided questions are going to help players think about ways to solve the situations and problems in front of them related to our keywords and our goal. The five elements of a training session are going to help us evaluate our entire plan. We're going to look at the organization of the training session, the game-like activities, and the ways in which they challenge our players the repetition of the activities and how it relates to the overall goal of the training session. The challenge taking place. How balanced is the challenging aspect of the training session? Are the players being successful or are they unsuccessful? And then as a coach, we're going to review how we are coaching, the implementation of the coaching, coach's toolkit based on the age and ability level of the players. The practice portion or the second portion of our training is comprised of a core activity. Featured within the core activity is a less challenging activity and a more challenging activity. All the graphics and text below are very similar. The main deviations from the core activity are either a reduction or increase in the size, space, and number of players available as well as the ways in which they score. The core activity ranging for 30 minutes, should be used to help challenge the players in a small-sided games approach. The coaches will reflect using the five elements of a training session to determine if they should use the less challenging or more challenging activity. Play 2 will expand the game in a larger space with more players, if possible. Guided questions and answers will still be used. Key words will still be focused upon. The organization of the players will be full field if possible and will implement the laws of the game. The five elements of a training session should be focused and at this point 
The coach or the instructor should focus on the training session and their role within it. Did you achieve your goals? What went well? What could you do better? Ultimately related to the five elements of the training activity to positively impact player performance. We look forward to these training sessions and implementing them in your community as well as the coaching education options throughout our state.